All right, so yeah, fascism has gone full blown in the UK, like completely. Um, and guys, if you think there's a deficit that we've been trying to get through austerity, then I can show you a police force that ain't known about it. If you think we're short on police officers, once again, I can tell you what. They're not the protected our public when we need them, but they're fucking there, mate. They are here. There are fucking thousands of these pricks. Right. And they're all out because nobody committed a crime. <laughs> Child goes missing. Fuck me. Where are the hell are these guys? Nowhere. All you got to do is post on Facebook and hope your mates help you out. Right? The second somebody says something that doesn't actually go with a narrative, fuck me, they're out in their thousands. See what they did to my daughter? She's only 13, they, the way they pushed her. Oh, for fuck's sake. They yeah. were in touch one Sorry, look, like, like, look. Uh, again, we've got youngsters in here as well, not like proper she's youngsters. Only it's a bit late, but she's 13, you can tell from the look on her face. <laughs> Are you okay, though? I'm okay. All right. I was holding my mouth. Oh, so what happened a second ago was I was actually genuinely walking around going, this is really weird, why are these guys allowed to exist? And then uh, we found out the reason why. It was so they could fucking surprise them and shove a pensioner into a fucking wall. Which is fun. Because yeah. you saw me, I was holding on to Piers tight to keep the police away from him. And my daughter was right next to me holding my you're right, hand. You're right, you're right. It's all right. It's expected, it's expected. Nadia, calm down. You're right. You're, you're cool, so you're right. It's you're not that. I, I don't put my hand on my daughter. Someone else is going to put their hand on my daughter. Well, that's why we're fighting, isn't it? To make sure they don't happen. They're allowed to get away with it. I'm their mum and I don't put my hand on her. All right, so guys, just to let you know, right? I got physically manhandled, right, out of the square over there, right? And once again, I don't see them getting manhandled. I, I got told, yeah, that it was too late. I, I had to go home because fully grown adults in juice. England in 2020 have to go home if it gets too late. Mum and Dad, they set my bedtime wrong, and now I'm in a lot of trouble because it's well past it apparently. So, um, yeah. This is the world we live in, guys. And fair enough if you say, well, what did you expect? To be honest, I was hoping we were going to be facilitated like in Birmingham last weekend, where, you know, because there's a population of people that are seething, pissed off, angry, maybe, just maybe, they give us a moment to show our frustrations. But it turns out, no. We can't show our frustrations, we can't show why we're upset. What we get is absolutely shooed away in droves. So, fantastic, guys. But, once again, absolute evidence. If you guys think you live in a democratic country where people care about you, and they want your health to come first, and that's why they're putting all these measures in place, I think you'll find you're far from the fucking truth and far from the point, all right? Because this is not about protecting us, it's not about protecting people. I'll, re I'll rephrase, it is protecting people. It ain't fucking us, is it? Okay, it's a handful really of protecting. people. Who are they protecting? Yeah. The one percent. Exactly. Is it the Rothschilds and the right. Rockefellers and Bilderberg? You got it. Is that who they're protecting? You got it. Yep. But it's definitely yep. not the public. But they're guys, not protecting us. guys, this is how change happens, though, guys. We stop following people. We stop following groups. We stop worrying about what other people in the world think we should and should not be doing. We protect our own. We look after ourselves, and we make sure that we provide for our families. We provide for our friends. Our you know, we look after ourselves, guys. Be sovereign, stop fucking following people. Sorry if that seemed divisive. Anthony, you might have noticed who was around me then, you might have got what I was saying, but. Anyways, dude. 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 Anyways
me a fucking cup from too many cumbers. Piss on their boots, man. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Good people out, good people. Yes, guys. Thank you. Got some, got some fun guys there. Just about the vibe, didn't it? Just about the vibe. Chasing people away. See, young people are scared and they're literally running. Like young young people that weren't even on the march, got nothing to do with anything, they're actually scared and running away. Okay. It's a great state of affairs when young people in England are just generally scared of the police, okay? That's fantastic, isn't it? Well, I'm not allowed to be here anymore under Regulation 9, the COVID Act. Can you all please keep moving and leave the area? So, so what is Regulation 9? Regulation 9 means that you cannot be part of any gathering or protest in public at the moment during lockdown. Regulation 19 allows me to give you direction to leave to go back to your own residence. 9 and 19. It's under 19. I'm asking you if you could please go home as you're obviously not out here for exercise. Okay, can I go that way? You can go that way, sir, yes. Yeah? Yep. Cool. As long as you go home. If I exercise, I'm going to stay here. I'll see you again. You're Sorry. Uh, I, I hate to be sarcastic in this situation okay. where you're stripping all our freedoms and rights from us. Okay. Have a great day. You and uh, I hope, uh, mate, yeah. seriously, good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Seriously. Thank you, mate. Bye bye. See ya. So, this is the thing we're all living in the same world, and not everybody's a fucking Freemason. So, uh, you know, it's uh, everyone's people. They are people. These guys are people. Everyone's people. You know, we've all got families, we've all got friends. These guys have all got families, they've all got friends that they need to look after and shit. Yeah. Only thing they haven't figured out yet is what a law and a legislation are and the difference between the fucking things. But, um, no, it's fun. Uh, just, just... All right. Guys, you're going to give a bit of advice there, but... Well done, lads. I think you're going to have to go to Sean. Sean doesn't seem to be listening. <laughs> See what I mean? Look, look, like the coppers are the, the people. They're like, you know, he's, he's having a joke, he's having a nice night. The police are people, they're nice guys. Um, they just don't realise what exactly they've been asked to do most of the time. So, it's, uh, it's funny enough. Are you leaving? Yeah, I'm, I'm going this way. Well done. Yeah. Well, I, I am. Thank you, you. you stopped me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you notice, know, but... Uh, yeah, so guys, good luck over the next couple of years, because uh, I know, I mean, maybe because you've got a pay coming in at the moment, the reality of what's happening at the moment will strike you soon, okay? Do you guys think you're defending against a pandemic, a deadly pandemic? Oh dear, yeah. No, no, you know it, guys, you know it. It's only a matter of time before it catches up if you realise the government you're serving are a crock of shit, guys. <laughs> Carry on walking. Carry on walking, yes. Okay. We're, we're dispersed in the area. You've got no reason to be out here other than protesting. You've do I need, do I need a reason? Them. Yes, you do. If you look at the regulation, you're, you're in a little... Right, OK, gallery. so as a civil journalist, I have a reason, right. so... Do you have your journalism card? Do you have your press card? No. no? I don't feel a reason to represent myself to people that are equal to me. walking or you'll be liable for arrest. I don't know if you noticed, but at this entire point, I am walking. I guess the only reason I'm going slowly is because I'm talking to you. Stop it, carry on. I don't want to engage with you. No, carry on now. How far can we go? No, it's all right. I'll engage you. Let's go further. Let's have a chat. Because seriously, guys, you're people, and I really don't mind talking to you. You're going to be arrested. Oh, go walk with me and talk with me, and you can arrest me as we go. You can speak to. Yes, I'm sure they want to speak to you. I'm sorry to hold you from your duties of oppressing people and acting like the fucking Nazi cunts that fucking ruined the world once before. Have fun. Oh, nothing. It's past my bedtime. I have to go home. I just I just like living in a country where I choose my own fucking bedtime. Yeah, me too. All right, anyway, so it's fun and games. And when I get shouted at in a night like tonight, right, that I cannot be here because don't you know there is a fucking pandemic? He didn't say fucking the police officer. Don't you know there's a pandemic on? Right? And then when I say to him, tell the guys in the back of your fucking vans there's a pandemic on, then you guys, right, I wish you had nothing much to say apart from to go, uh, walk away, right? You guys, the guys sitting over there not wearing their masks in their fucking vans all day long for the last three months, you're our best evidence, guys, 
You are our best evidence. If we did not wear a mask, if we never even fucking bothered doing a single goddamn measure, we could have carried on living our lives and earning a living like you fucking assholes. Enjoy living, serving a government and a queen. Don't care, don't worry, and do not mind what the fuck it comes to. Right, anyway, guys, I think I'm probably going to go home. Um, I think I've done my bit here. Have a good night. Love you all. Uh, I think I'm just going to take a piss and walk through this cunt as well, just so I can get home. <laughs> right, bye.